What is up, Need for Speed Racers? It is I, your wheelman, Alex Cornnut, and I'm here today with the viewer requested Chevrolet Bel Air 1955 in A plus class. You guys asked for it, here it is. This thing is actually really good. I've got some gameplay footage at the end to show you how good it is, and I'll kind of walk you through it, it's pretty sweet. Overall, not a meta car, but you'll definitely pub stomp if you've got a good driver mod in this thing. A couple different ways to build it, you can do it with a four speed. I actually like it more with the five speed, and that's the build I'm bringing to you today, but I'll kind of go on the nuances. Nil built it with the five speed, that's what he said to like the most. I tried it with the four speed. On some of the short tracks, it's a little bit easier to drive, but overall, for the grand scheme of things, you guys probably want this one, but I'll show you both just so you can get into that. Drop a like down below if you like what we're doing. The way the viewer request works is whatever car you guys put in the comments that gets the most likes is the next car that I build. This one is been due. It's won a couple of times. It's I needed to bring it to you. The next car is the Honda NSXR or Acura NSXR. Depends on what region you're in. But that's next. I've already got the build done. I'm bringing that to you. So don't worry about dropping a comment for that one. Pick something else because I've already got that one lined up for tomorrow for you guys. Let's dig into it. The engine that you're running in this build is the very first motor. It is the Iron Basic 4.3 liter V8. 162 brake horsepower when we start, and we go up a long ways from there. For the parts, you're running Elite Platinum across the board for the engine, so it's Elite Platinum induction. Elite Platinum ECU. Elite Platinum fuel system. And Elite Platinum exhaust. Elite Platinum single turbocharger. You want this car to have the legs, and it's got so much horsepower and torque that having the turbo to get it on the top end is really where it's at, you guys. Sport Bronze Nitrous. Elite Platinum road suspension. Believe me, you need it. This car is a boat, doesn't like to turn. Iron Basic Brakes. Elite Platinum grip tires. Definitely need the grips. Iron Basic Clutch. And then Sport Bronze five speed transmission for this build, you guys, five speed. Elite Platinum Differential, that way you can slide the slider as far to the left as possible. And then I run Nitrous Drift and Nitrous Grip for all the auxiliary footage that you see today. For the handling, slide that slider, like I said, 80% full grip all the way to the left as much as this car will bring us. Steering sensitivity, I run two clicks high. Uh, you can do anything you want with that, so put your preference there, you guys. Downforce, go all the way high, back it off two, one, two. That is A269. That is S270, so you gotta be there or further to the right. The car doesn't need a whole lot of downforce. I mean, it's such a boat that it's gonna do whatever it wants, and you'll see in the gameplay footage that I go off some jumps and it comes right down, so it's not like the Ferrari airplanes that just go forever. It, it has no problem sticking to the road. Traction control off, drift entry is brake tap. That is gonna give you the nil built, corn nut approved, A plus 269, 177 top speed, this will do almost 190 with redline tech. I mean, it's got the legs. And that's really good for A plus class. 1098 on your horsepower and 1194 on the torque. It's nuts. But I mean, all of that horsepower and torque, you need it. This car is super heavy. And so even though it's got all of that, it still doesn't launch nearly as hard as like a Rosa even. And it takes a little while to catch up. But once you're in fourth, in fifth, you just walk them and it's a lot of fun. For the gameplay footage, I've got a couple different runs for you. It was funny, I was trying to get some footage in Going Uptown because that's the first race in the playlist and it really lets this car shine because it's got good top speed. I kept racing a bunch of RSRs and I don't know what build these guys had, but it was like not the right one. They were, anyway, 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 I just blow past them. But for the gameplay footage, because I kept getting crashed by them when I would go past, um, skill issue on those drivers. I got with Nil and I got with Lex and I ended up running like a 143, which is not record by any means because our crew record is like a 36 on that track in the Turbo Rosa. But the fact that this is a big old heavy boat and I can run a 143 on that track just shows that it is quite good. And if you have the right car on that track, you can go pretty fast. And so for going uptown specifically, guys, that is the single turbo Testarossa track. No questions asked. 
and then this is probably pretty good too <laughs> i mean it's fast it's a lot of fun to drive and it's only got a couple of sharp corners so drop a comment down below on what you guys want to see and we'll build that next for those of you guys that made it here that are still maybe looking to see what the four speed looks like let me show you what that build looks like so now that we're here in the parts you're going to go over and you'll throw in the four speed now that you've got the four speed in there it's a 259 with the four speed installed i would recommend going with the screw of the roots because you've got longer gears and so the screw puts us right there a 268 you can do the roots a 268 either one same same i default to the screw when i can i think it's a little better and then now that's the only change you make go down the handling and just back off the downforce a little bit and that'll put you at a 269 and it gives us a little better on the top speed this particular build will redline about 172 175 and it's pretty sturdy i mean it does really good and you're really pretty much in fourth the entire race so you might try that versus the other version and then this gives you 1059 on the horsepower 1218 on the torque so you should sacrifice a little bit of the horsepower and get more torque and then less gears um, either way you guys try whatever you think is best but that would be both builds so that way you can get a piece of it um, go with your preference I am thankful to you guys my channel hit 4,000 subs over the weekend and that's really huge for me I've only been doing this like four months so you guys are awesome it is you that is helping me grow and I'm so thankful for that if you would like to support me in my growth I've got a patreon link down below in the uh, video description click that I mean you can donate five bucks which is like a coffee or as much as I got one guy that's uh, really treating me right and helping me pay my bills so um, whatever you guys can help with it really does help me I'm so thankful for that otherwise just keep clicking the likes uh, subscribe if you haven't tell your friends that are playing Need for Speed where to get the builds because you guys know what's good and uh, we'll move forward we'll keep doing it have a great rest of your day and stay tuned for that gameplay footage bye bye all right get high tonight i like this track a lot it's pretty cool um definitely not a hard track but it gives you the idea of what a car can do if you're driving it right and car selection is huge on these tracks you guys like it's really important that you get the right one um we'll kind of do a bit of a guide here i launched this car in fourth it bounces off a third real real hard so even though you're a gear higher than you probably need to be it really has a more consistent launch and so i'm just collecting my boost using it right there to get in front of the boys and now we're off to the races i'm doing everything i can to get up to speed using the nos using the boost i'm gonna micro drift right here little baby one you'll see the smoke coming out hit the boost as soon as i get over to the wall and now we've got two bars use that immediately to stay on the track and now we're going well a little micro drift here compared with a micro drift right there and that's going to give us about two and a half bars we go through the gas station to the top of our nos Hang a right, stay to the right of traffic, and then take a left through the trees. That is a very fast, very consistent line. And with this car being as heavy as it is, that's definitely the way to go. We're full speed through here. We're going to start to get into the legs of the car. You'll see we're doing 178 right there when it bounces off the rev limiter. And you'll see it going considerably faster once we get around this corner. Cap the three bar as soon as I'm clean. And then just start accelerating. Get the near misses on the cars there to get that two bar that turns into a three with the turn. Micro drift around the traffic. Try to stay in the middle when you're entering this tunnel, you guys. There's no traffic in the middle. So the middle of the road on entry and exit's very safe. Now here, we're gonna wanna use our boost to make a nice sharp corner there. That's a bit of a Tron turn. I hit the brakes a little bit. Use our three bar, get back up to speed. Now look, we're doing like 180, 181 right there. It'll go faster than that, but I'm really trying to just kinda not look at the speedometer and more pay attention to the traffic. But the Ferrari flies over that catwalk, we go under it, get back up to speed, drop down in the middle so that way you don't hit traffic. And that's going to be a 143 on going uptown, you guys. If you have the proper lines and the right car, you can go quite fast. Like I said, I was running some RSRs on this track that were in pub lobbies. I don't know what those guys were doing, but I blew by them like they were standing still. This is not an RSR track. RSR is tight, grippy, good diesel motor. That's what you want to use. For this track, you want something with some legs. Go grab yourself this car or the Rosa. Let's move on to the next one. Buena Vista. A lot of you guys already know this track. This is one of the tracks you need to do well on to get into the blacklist entry. I say the standard is 155, and we do just that with a bit of a mess up. So overall, this car's 
does all right. It, it doesn't love the twisties, but if you do it okay, it, it does all right. Launch in fourth. We're going to be chasing Nil, our boy there, and we're going to be chasing Lex to the best of our ability. He's in that Rosa, which is a very dominant, very good car to drive. So we're going to use our boost to make a nice tar sharp corner there. Tap the wall, tap into Nil, and we lose all of our momentum. So now we got to work it back up. If you can carry some bars of boost into this corner, that's really helpful because it helps that left-hand turn. We're able to get up a bit of a, grip, of a grip corner. Got two bars going down the hill. We're going to use them right away to get up to speed. Click into fifth, and now we've got some momentum. You guys see, as soon as we start clicking into the high gears, we catch these guys back up, and that's all that force power we've got. Now, I've got a three bar. I'm going to save it for this corner and do a nice Tron turn and try to keep it on the track. Works pretty well. Get about a two bar coming out of that. We're going to try to do the same thing here. But it ends before we finish the corner, so we're going to go a little wide. But it's a nice big grip corner, so we get our three bar. We're accelerating. Trying to get into the draft of Lex, if possible. I'm going to do a little micro drift right here. Get up to that two bar, and then accelerate immediately. And now I'm going to save this three bar into this corner. I'm just going to sit here in the draft, be careful, and then hit the four, and then turn really sharp. Sharper than I wanted to, but I've actually flown off that corner before in this car because sometimes it doesn't always Tron turn. So, better to take a super tight 180 than too wide. Lex is flying, great, great pace. Lex is one of our blacklist racers, definitely knows what he's doing. So, um, I don't think we're gonna catch him, but that's okay. We're not here to set crazy times, we're just here to go fast and show you what the car can do. So, using the boost to make tighter corners, get that two bar, we're gonna use it as soon as we can. Boom, turns into a three with the grip turn. And I like to stay to the left here. That little bike path or that lane that we're in is a pretty safe spot right over here. You're not going to hit any traffic. And so that really slow 180, um, the Tron turn, that we lost a lot of momentum. And the front of this wasn't clean. And this isn't a meta car. But a 155 on Buena Vista is just fine. All right, the long climb. Now, I shot this video with the four speed, so you can kind of see how it performs. Launch in third gear and just let it settle before I get into the nitrous and then begin to accelerate. We've got a bit of a rivalry here. I show you this for two reasons. Because A, I want you to see how the four speed performs. And B, these two skylines were giving me and my boy some problems. Lex is one of the core nut crew him and I were running. This guy Pac-Man decides to be a real douche and decide that we need to go see the ocean. If you're going to wreck somebody, you need to wreck them and not also go in the ocean. But that's fine. That's fine. Okay, I see I see your moves, man. I see your moves. I've got moves, too. Let me show you them. And so, I've already thrown it away. I feel like the race is over, but I'm going to build my boost, and I can make the corner, or I can make sure he visits the rocks. This car really doesn't turn as good as I would have liked. Otherwise, in a different vehicle, I might have been able to still make the corner after hitting him. He, he's back for more. He wants to play. That's fine. With how fast I caught him after... We uh, went into the water and with the rocks, I can tell that our boy here doesn't know how to drive and that's why he drives the way that he does. We're going to use our NOS on corner exit here about halfway through the corner. We're going to hit it. Cool. We're going to get a big grip turn for that long corner. I'm going to save that bar for this and we're going to do a nice Tron turn. And Pac-Man behind us, he doesn't even know what a Tron turn is because he must not watch the channel. So anyway, Godspeed to him. Get better. We're catching up to Cal Fun here. Um, Lex and Kush are vibing. Apparently, the other Skyline got into it with Lex. I was on problems with Lex. He's like, I don't know why this guy's crashing me. I'm like, it's because I just threw his boy into the rocks. But anyway, the Skyline duo, um, skill issue. I'm going to use the three bar about halfway through there. Boom. Get a grip turn. And then save that boost for this corner on exit. Slow is fast, you guys. And so even though that was a slow corner, I exited really well, and now me and Lex are walking away from everybody. Lex is in that Evo, which is a very fast car, but we've got some legs in this thing. And with the four speed, you guys, you're really just bouncing between third and fourth gear. I'll hit that three bar going into that corner. A little bit of a bobble, but overall, staying back in the nitrous to give up the speed. You'll see that the four speed transmission performs very well. It just doesn't quite have the same top speed, and performance as the five speed does but overall it does just fine you'll see we can redline tech it here up to about 168 is what we would probably get to but it'll do about 172 with redline tech overall fun little race i like crashing and thrashing with people that uh make it fun 
Me and Lex take first and second as we do, and everybody else is behind us. Both the Nissans take fourth and fifth, and that looks good on them, you jerks. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm thankful for you, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.